All right, I have finally done it. I got all my guys to six stars just in time to get six star Invisible Woman. It took a lot of work to get Mysterio up to six star. Basically cost me all my raid credits and cores. I was coring the store for 50 re cores every refresh for the last few days. I was uh, even some hundreds. Um, pulled some raid orbs here and there and spent a few on raid orbs just to try to get him. And oh man, it was rough uh you can see i have no cores left <laughs> i literally spent everything trying to get this dude and get the six star unlock so here we go uh we'll go through this real quick uh it's fairly simple with this level i think you only need like 100 and 100k or something like that 110 20k something like that to finish it i got 170 yeah 173,000 uh team so this should be fairly simple, but I'm happy to finally get this done. <laughs> then I'll try to shoot for 7-star the next time she comes around, but you know how that is. It's a bit of a crapshoot, uh, depending on your luck with drops and, well, with Mysterio, it comes down to the raid store. But now I don't have any raid credits, so I can't even buy him if he shows up at 7 o'clock tonight. <laughs> but I will uh, start saving up specifically for him. Uh, especially now that they've increased the Alliance War rewards. Uh, I think that's pretty significant. Um, basically, now like we get tons of stuff for winning Alliance Wars. And even if you lose, as long as you're in a decent bracket, like we're in gold, uh, we get you know a bunch of ABCs, a bunch of extra credits. We get more credits per kill. Uh, it's just a great great deal all around, honestly. Um, it's pretty amazing. Like They've really made war like useful now. Um, so... Don't need to waste my raid credits on uh, <clears throat> on uh, gear as much anymore, and so that's pretty nice. I'd much prefer to do something else with them, <laughs> like buying character shards. So we'll see uh, how this goes. Um, this is fairly simple so far. You can see here all the characters are like 17, yeah, 15k. That's nothing. Uh, very cheap uh, characters. If you can get a few of your Sinister Six. I would probably just focus on like uh, definitely uh, Green Goblin because he also unlocks Shuri. And then I really like Rhino as a tank. I think he's very good. Um, so he's definitely worth investing in on his own. And then Shocker kind of makes this whole team work. So I really like Shocker, Vulture, and uh, Rhino out of them. And then Green Goblin just because he works for all of, all of the, uh, <laughs> or both the t characters uh, unlocks. So kind of up to you how you want to do it. Uh, but those are the characters I like. Uh, I'll be working on Mysterio shortly. Um, I just haven't done it yet because I haven't had enough tech gear, honestly. That's that's the main problem. Oh, I guess I should kill Ms. Marvel first, but whatever. Alright, this is super easy. You don't have to worry about three-starring on unlocks, so if somebody dies, no big deal. My Mysterio is very low. I'm actually surprised he hasn't died yet. <laughs> but they like to hit Rhino, and that's fine with me. Uh, three left. Let's get this done. Come on. Let's just get this over with. Stop doing... Oh, what? A revive? Because they have a Nobu? Really? <laughs> Silly. But, anyway. Uh, let's do an offense step. Yeah, they give you an Invisible Woman and a uh, Doctor Strange. So Doctor Strange can revive somebody. Invisible Woman has incredible sustainability for your team. So I really think you could do this with like a 100k team and probably make it through with a few attempts. Um, but yeah, that was fairly easy. I could have autoed that the whole way and wouldn't have had a problem. Makes me wonder how difficult the uh, seven star unlock is now. Because it's like, man, am I already ready for it? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Alright, uh, so 6 star Invisible Woman costs 250k to unlock, so that'll put me right at uh, no, just a little bit below 800k, so I'll put this on her and then spend another 50k to hit my next high roller mark. Look at that, 32,900. Take a picture of that, because that was one of the most difficult things I've had to do uh, in this game. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Uh, let's see, I need to spend 50,000, so I'll probably just upgrade Grav. He's yeah, 73, I'll do 35, and then we'll do some gear for him. So I like to hit these marks as close as possible, and I'm trying not to spend much money right now, because I know uh, Gra uh, um, Coulson's coming to uh, Milestones pretty soon, and it may be as soon as like next week or this week. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. It lagged a bit. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> but yeah, right at 800k. So I get these two milestones, call it a day. I mean, half an orb isn't worth that much so to me, at least. Uh, so I'll just hold off there. Uh, but that's pretty good. I'm glad I got her unlocked. I will do some videos with her um, with Fantastic Four. Uh, I'll work on them as well. Um, I've got a lot of little projects I need to do and uh, a lot of orange uh, upgrade mats that I need to use too, but I'm not quite sure which way I want to go yet. kind of want to make up four into a really good mid-level attack team, like 150k or so for war, and I think that would be a pretty solid option for them. Get them all to about 30k a piece and uh, see how that goes. But uh, I'm still looking at Invisible Woman for Arena and how she's going to play into it and how she works. Uh, I've seen her in a couple of teams. I haven't really seen her used well, I would say. Um, I think I think there's a couple of combos that might work for her, but i got to test it out a little bit more. And then I'll try to make some videos about that once I have more info on it. But that's six-star Invisible Woman. Fairly simple. Um, my team was way overkill at 173k. <laughs> So don't build them that big if you don't need 7-star anytime soon.